guys! Today I'm planning for the month of November in my bullet journal. And November's theme is light bulbs and fairy lights, just lights in general. And this was suggested by a few of you guys in my October plan with me video. So if you have any suggestions for December's theme, please leave them in the comments. So anyway, this title page is a big light bulb and the filament says November, and underneath I have a little calendar. Now I'm highlighting the days of the week on the calendar using a Tombow brush pen, and I'm outlining the outside with that same color, and then using the Tombow brush pen blending pen to make it fade out, kind of like a light bulb glowing. I also used a gray mild liner for the little metal part of the bulb, and I'm doing more blending again with the Tombow dual brush pens. Now on to my monthly trackers, planners, etc. So these I've already sketched out beforehand with a pencil, as you can see. And now I'm just tracing them over and finalizing all the little doodles. And by the way, the black pen that I'm using is a Muji gel ink pen in the .38 size. Because I used up my Uniball Signo pen, which is the pen that I normally use, and I haven't got any more refills, so I gotta get some more of those. So yeah, first I sketched out my video plan, and next I'm making my habit tracker. I've made my monthly overview, which is the vertical column style, and I'm highlighting or drawing a yellow box on each of the Mondays. For some reason, my camera cut off when I was doing those monthly pages, but I'll show you the completed thing at the end of the video, so hopefully that's not a huge issue. Now I've moved on to a weekly spread, and this is for the first week of November. So this week has some lantern doodles along the top, and it also says Lumos, which is the Harry Potter spell for making a light from your wand. Most of the titles for this month's spreads are Harry Potter related quotes that are related to light or light bulbs. Again, I'm using that same yellow brush pen to make the glowy effect on the light bulbs and to make dividers on the weekly page. I'm repeating this process on this weekly spread, and the words for this week are a great Dumbledore quote, happiness can be found in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the lights. And I'm doing these sidebar lettering things with a Tombo Fudenosuke Mm, that's not very good pronunciation. 
Uh, anyway, I'm using the Tombow brush pen in the hard tip. And normally I use the Pentel Fooded Touch brush pen. As you've probably seen in my other videos about note taking and bullet journaling. But recently I've switched to the Tombow one because I spilled water on my math notebook and I did all of my note headers with the Pentel Fooded Touch brush pen. But the Pentel Fooded Touch is not waterproof, so a lot of my headers got smudged. So now I'm really scared of that happening to like my other notes or my bullet journal. So I'm starting to use the Tombow Fooded no Suke, which is waterproof. I looked it up. So anyways, on this week's spread, I'm not doing the fairy lights. I've switched back to more light bulb doodles, and these are a little bit rounder. And the brightest witch of her age refers to Hermione from Harry Potter, who is my favorite character, life goals, everything. She's even my profile picture, as you can probably tell. And now I'm moving on to the final weekly spread, which features a quote by Sirius Black. I only did the first section because it was a pretty long quote, but the quote goes something like, we've all got both light and dark inside us. It's the part we choose to act on that truly shows who we are. And for this week, again, I'm using that little trail of fairy lights along the top. And here, <clears throat> And here are all the completed spreads for November. I did my best to make them feel cozy, kind of like the November aesthetic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember to leave your theme suggestions in the comments. I upload new videos every Monday and Friday, and I post pictures of my bullet journal on my Tumblr and Instagram, which I'll link in the description if you want to check them out. See you next time!